We learned in medical school that brain cancers are mass-occupying lesions that push the normal tissue out of the way and that they're a problem because they're taking up space. But when people come in with a new brain cancer diagnosis, and especially a new glioma diagnosis, they walk into clinic often or they walk into the emergency room. They are walking and talking and functioning almost normally, and maybe they've presented because they noticed slight weakness in one limb or another, or they've had a seizure. But then you do an MRI scan and you realize that three quarters of their brain is involved with this cancer. Wow. So this is a different disease process than anything else that affects the brain. Any other disease that affects that much territory in the nervous system would cause profound symptoms. Clearly, the tumor infiltrated nervous system is working or working as well as it can. And so there's something really fundamentally different going on. Now we understand that that is true because the, the cancer actually needs the function of the nervous system.